Welcome to another 3D Doodle with Ono van Bram from onovanbram.com. Today we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and explain to you how I would model a car wheel. Especially one with uh, a lot of symmetry in it, like this one. I just looked up an image on uh, Google Images, it didn't really look for anything, just car, wheel, or whatever. Found this one, it's a OZ F1 wheel, which was used on a uh, Lotus Elise, or Exige, I think. Anyways, we have this wheel. You can see there's like a lot of symmetry going on. That's what we're gonna make use of when we're gonna try and recreate it. First thing I would do is actually rotate it so that it's almost straight up. Should be probably thirty. Yeah. So we're going to rotate it by 30 degrees, no, 30 degrees, minus 30, like this. So then we create, a, for instance, a tube, which sort of matches the... Uh, let's do it here and here. Depth doesn't really matter. For now, assign a standard material to it. As you can see, this one has six times two forks. So what we're going to create is only this little bit here. And then we're going to copy the rest. So six, so it's only, and then only half of that, so it's actually only 30 degrees. So it's 30 degrees, so minus 30. And then let's give it a few sides, it's to zero. The height doesn't really matter again. It's uh, I'm just gonna convert it to a little poly right now and just even delete the whole back, but it's completely irrelevant for now. Well, it was a little too hasty. Let's try to make it bigger like this first, then convert it, then delete the rear. As you can see, you can't see the either. The, your reference image or your object. So what we're going to do is set click wire here so you can see uh, the object you're modeling on and your reference image. So now that we have this we can just start cutting away which is what I'm going to do. Just give it a cut there and then there. This one here, and then delete this one, this one. So now I have something that sort of looks like, I don't know, it's not very precise, but that's not what this material is about. You can always add more things here, and scale, etc., etc., if you want more details. So we add the symmetry modifier. So then we already have two, as you can see matches almost perfectly. And then we know there's six, so we're going to use tools array. We know there's six, so we use six. Set this to instance, set this to 360 degrees. So then it, you can see it automatically calculates. This is a total of 360 degrees. We want a whole complete circle. So it calculates how many degrees, which is 60 degrees, because we have six units. So we okay. Voila, we almost have our whole wheel. But we can continue, of course. We can even make the whole other circle. Do this, and then this here. Set this on. Let's toggle end result, so we can immediately see what we're doing. Move this up a little bit. And then move this one. And we rotate it. It should actually be 30 degrees again. After this, and so now it doesn't look like a circle, but you can always create your own circle to uh, help as a reference instead of uh, 
the actual image. So why doesn't it move? Ah. Move this a little up and this a little up. So actually, you're almost done now with the wheel. It's hard to believe, but all you would have to do is, for instance, extrude all the edges, which isn't really like a big deal. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. This, 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 and this. You go to the perspective. Shift drag it outwards. Hide your reference image. Put a standard material on it again. There you have it. All you have to do now is, for instance, you could all, um, convert all of it again and then attach everything, attach all of the tubes. Then you're gonna weld all the vertices again because they were little because they were they weren't uh, all symmetried. And now we can actually select this circle here and scale it down and in down move it inwards oh. that could be like a little lo logo or something so there you have it that's a wheel and you can do it almost with any wheel you want as long as there's some sort of symmetry in it So yeah, that's basically it. It's basically the technique. Sometimes you can even only work with symmetry modifiers, but the way I did it now, it's it's just as easy just making instances so that when you change one, they all change. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's all about the idea, all about the technique. I could model on for hours and make it perfect, but that's not what this is about. You can do that too. It's just moving around the vertices. That's not the hard part. The hard part is thinking how to do it in a smart and easy way. So that's that's it for now. I'll see you later and I hope you learned something.